I think we need to take this very seriously. As we look around our country, indeed in our state, we see residents losing faith in the political process. And what can be more disheartening than feeling you have cast a valid vote and then discovering that it hasn't counted? If you were one of those voters in Bridgeport who was told he or she had cast an absentee ballot and never did, how would you feel? And what faith would that give you in the sanctity of our political process? Indeed, if you can question the results of the political process, where does that end? There have been 15 elections in the last, since in the last 10 years where the margin of victory was less than 50 votes. A state representative election in the 81st district, one vote. A state representative election in the 170 district, two votes, 14 votes, seven votes. It does not take much to change the outcome of an election. Indeed, in my second congressional district many moons ago, when Ed Munster was competing with, this with a Democrat incumbent, both of them were sent to Washington for freshman training because the margin of victory is so close. And we need to take this seriously. In 2015, a town chair in Stamford was found to have tampered with absentee ballots. What more do we need to tell us that our elections need to be safeguarded? I believe this election monitor is a good sign, but I also believe we have to take seriously allegations of fraud. We can be told it is seldom and it is rare, but even a single incidence of fraud delegitimizes not only the election, but the belief of our residents in the validity of their vote, in the sanctity of their vote, in the right to choose their elected officials. And to know that someone has tampered with the process, and indeed not just in general elections, but in primaries, that you have fought a hard fight, and then you as the candidate discover on the day that because of malfeasance, because of criminal activity, every single minute you have spent knocking on doors, speaking to voters, sending out mailers, the money you may have spent through the citizens' election program for clean, honest elections has been wasted because someone, somebody, some group has worked against an honest political process. So I look forward to continuing this conversation. I believe there are people on both sides of the aisle who have nothing more in mind than ensuring that our residents can trust the process. We owe it to them, we owe it to their children, we owe it to prosperity, and we owe it to our reputations. Because if we don't take this seriously, no one will. So I want to thank you, Madam Speaker, for indulging me, and I urge everyone to support this and also other moves that may be proposed to ensure our residents can have faith in the political process. Thank you, Madam Speaker.